Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Gao Wu. I went crazy with the animation system. Chapter 11 At this time, Li Hanfang's figure appeared three meters behind the armored rhinoceros body. The body shape still maintains the previous posture, and the right hand is still holding the handle of the knife on the left waist, as if the sharp blade has never been unsheathed, but also as if it has been sheathed. However, the white mist slowly disappearing from the corners of his mouth, the golden arc that was about to disappear on his body, and the huge corpse behind him all told the fact that it was all over. A moment later, Li Hanfang sat down on the ground, breathing heavily, and his body couldn't help trembling slightly. Breath of Thunder, one form, and Thunderbolt Flash, a move that pursues extreme speed and explosion, would put a lot of burden on the body. Not to mention that Li Hanfang used it when his body was already close to the limit. He could now clearly feel the tearing pain from his lungs, and his feet had become weak and weak due to the extreme explosion. It's my first time to use the Aikikata, and I still can't adapt to the squeezing of the body by such extreme speed, and the burden on my feet caused by the instant burst. Then the next battle is to adapt to this feeling with all your strength. We must not let this situation happen in reality, otherwise people will die. Just when Li Hanfang was lying on the ground, thinking and summarizing his combat experience, waiting for his body to recover. Inside the administrator's authority room outside the virtual battle cabin. At this time, the two figures, one old and one young, were both a little shocked, with a flash of disbelief in their eyes. Is this, a move? The girl asked with a somewhat uncertain tone, or disbelief. If I read it correctly, it is indeed a move, and it is one developed based on one's own talent. Although Mr. Wa was also shocked, he still answered the girl's questions truthfully. But how is this possible? If I remember correctly, yesterday was the awakening day of this senior year of high school, right? He has only awakened his talent for less than two days, right? He can actually develop a talent move. And this move is not ordinary. The girl is still a little unbelievable. To know the talent moves, you need to have a deep understanding of your own talent, and then based on this foundation, use some way to make your talent stronger. Li Hanfang only woke up yesterday and used his natural moves today. This is indeed a bit difficult for outsiders to understand. After all, no one knows that Li Hanfang can cheat. Mr. Hua also thought of this. His face was full of shock. At the same time, he felt that this young man was not a creature in the pond. There was no harm in making friends with his young lady. He could naturally tell that his young lady paid too much attention to Li Hanfang and she must have harbored some misconceptions. I wanted to get to know each other, so I came to watch Li Hanfang's training. He was not optimistic about it at first. After all, the identity of a girl is very unusual. Since ancient times, most people who are not in the right family will have no good results, whether they are friends or other. At this time, Li Hanfang has almost recovered. This is not reality after all. The virtual battle cabin will input some special substances to Li Hanfang so that his mental body in the virtual battle battlefield can recover as much as possible within this quarter of an hour. He then adjusted the training intensity of the battle cabin to keep it at the level of a second-order monster. Now that he has clearly understood his own strength, there is a high probability that he will not be able to do it until he is proficient in using Thunder Breath 1 type. He is a third-level monster, so there is no need to seek abuse now. His purpose is to control all his current strength. In this way, in the following time, he has been fighting different second-order monsters. During this period, he encountered second-order monsters such as Jagged Rex, Bloodthirsty Demonic Pig, and Sharp Horned Bull. He accumulated crazy skills to fight against different monsters. The beast's experience and combat awareness, and at the same time, his body is slowly becoming proficient and adapting to the intensity of Thunder Breath 1 type. After all, this is his first actual combat training, so he can absorb a lot of experience. Soon, an hour passed, and the virtual battle ended. With a ding in his mind, everything in the virtual scene began to slowly disappear, and Li Hanfang's body returned to darkness. Li Hanfang woke up in the battle cabin, felt the state of his body, and found that there was no damage to his body. He began to take off the mental link helmet, opened the cabin door, and murmured in a low voice. It seems that the pain in the virtual world is transmitted mentally through the helmet. There will be no physical discomfort, but it can feed back the combat experience and the body's combat instinct. It is really amazing. 
In the midst of his thoughts, Li Hanfang had already stood up and walked out of the cabin. After putting away his ID card, he took out the Naruto comic and was about to turn around and leave, when a clear and sweet voice came. Mr. Li, are you finished training? As he spoke, a gust of fragrant wind filled his nostrils, and a pure and beautiful figure appeared beside Li Hanfang. The person who came was none other than the girl who had received Li Hanfang before. Ah, yes, just came out of it. Li Hanfang was a little surprised. The other party seemed to be waiting for him. Although he felt strange in his heart, his face remained calm and lazy as he replied casually. The girl raised her lips and smiled sweetly, then stretched out a small hand as white as jade and handed it to Li Hanfang and said with a smile. Let me meet you, my name is Zhang Xinren. Li Hanfang looked at the little hand handed over and was a little dazed. What is going on? Then he raised his head and looked at the girl in front of him. The girl still looked at him with a smile. After feeling that there was no malice in the girl, he didn't think much and reached out to hold the girl's little hand. Hello, my name is Li Hanfang. As soon as he held Zhang Xinren's little hand, Li Hanfang suddenly felt a strange feeling in his heart. His little hand was as soft as boneless, a little cold, and his skin was delicate and smooth. Li Hanfang composed himself, slowly let go of his hand, and then said calmly, Miss Xinren, are you looking for me for something? By the way, you are also a senior in high school. Although Li Hanfang secretly cursed himself for being embarrassed, fortunately, he didn't show any embarrassment on his face. Zhang Xinren pretended not to notice anything strange about Li Hanfang and followed Li Hanfang's words. No, I am a freshman this year and I am a student at Mowu Extraordinary Academy. I would like to invite you to come to our academy to be my junior student. Are you interested? Hearing this, Li Hanfang was a little shocked. Mowu Chaoran Academy, one of the four academies of the Dragon Kingdom, is located in the base city of Modu. It is the dream of countless students. Then Li Hanfang glanced at Zhang Xinren with a strange look. This woman was a little too enthusiastic. This was the first time he and she had met, right? Okay. Aha, uh -huh, Miss Xinren thinks highly of me. Although I also want to be your junior student, that is the Four Kings Academy and not everyone can enter. Don't be so harsh. You can call me Xinren or Senior Sister Xinren. Also, I think you can do it. What? Li Hanfang didn't understand the meaning of Zhang Xinren's words for a while. However, Zhang Xinren suddenly turned to look at Li Hanfang, her pretty face came slightly closer to Li Hanfang, and said seriously. I said, if it were you, there would be no problem at Four Kings Academy. Li Hanfang frowned and looked at the beautiful face that suddenly came to him. A pair of smart peach blossom eyes under the long eyelashes was looking at him seriously. Because he was so close, Li Hanfang could smell the fragrance of the girl's breath, and he didn't know how to react for a moment. Seemingly sensing something strange about Li Hanfang, Zhang Xinren also reacted and realized that she was a little abrupt. She quickly moved her face away and changed the subject. Let's go, I'll take you out. After speaking, Zhang Xinren didn't wait for Li Hanfang's reply, turned around and walked outside, but there was something unnatural on her face. Li Hanfang also belatedly said, oh, and walked out. Neither of them spoke on the way, and the atmosphere was somewhat silent for a moment. After walking out of the door of Kewu building, Li Hanfang took the lead in breaking the silence and asked, Xinren, senior sister, why do you think I can get into Four Kings Academy? Zhang Xinren was startled, as if she didn't expect Li Hanfang to ask this suddenly. She was a little hesitant. After all, it was impolite to peek at other people's training, and she might even be suspected of having evil intentions. After thinking for a moment, Zhang Xinren decided to answer truthfully. After all, she wanted to have a good relationship with the young man in front of her. Cheating was not a good start, so she just wanted to apologize to him. I just watched your battle training, and I can feel that your talent is very extraordinary, and you are even more extraordinary. Sure enough, after hearing Zhang Xinren's words, Li Hanfang's face condensed, and a sharp flash flashed in his eyes. Seeing Li Hanfang's reaction, Zhang Xinren quickly explained again. Sorry, I went to watch your training without your permission. But I don't mean any harm. I'm just more interested in you and want to make friends with you. I have no other intentions. After hearing this, Li Hanfang looked at Zhang Xinren's serious but somewhat incoherent look, and asked in an uncertain tone. Interested in me? 
Yes, I didn't mean to be interested in you. Oh, I didn't mean that kind of interest. Zhang Xinren, who had not yet reacted, nodded quickly, but before he finished speaking, F.A. felt that his words were a bit strange, so he explained again. Oh, you, anyway, I have already apologized. How do you want to solve this matter to your satisfaction? At this time, Zhang Xinren's pretty face turned red from holding it back, but she didn't know how to explain it for a moment, so she could only ask in a stiff tone. Li Hanfang was stunned when he heard this. His identity is indeed not simple. This lady-like tone of voice seems to be saying, how much does it cost to resolve this matter? But he didn't want to delve further into this topic. After all, he was at the door of Kewu building now. Many people were already looking at her on the street. After all, beautiful women always attract attention. He didn't want to attract too much attention. Immediately he said in a cold voice, I don't care what you mean, Miss Zinran, I won't accompany you now if I have something else to do. In any case, whether the other party is out of friendship or something else, they are not familiar with each other. So when the other party saw him training, he couldn't help but feel a little confused. It was difficult to have a good impression of this young lady, even if the other party was really beautiful. Before Zhang Xinren could say anything else, Li Hanfeng turned around and left. It's okay to watch him fight. Anyway, he will soon have an explosive period of strength, and he doesn't want to get too entangled with this young lady right now. It's not that Li Hanfang doesn't want to pursue the case, but he knows that as a student with no strength and no background, what can he do even if he pursues the case seriously? Maybe after the commotion breaks out, Kewu Building will even change the rules and regulations for you. Of course, it's not that Kewu Building will violate its principles and change the rules and regulations just for this trivial matter, but it's that you, a commoner, are having trouble with someone with an obviously unusual background over this matter. It's simply thankless. Although I wasn't happy, the other party apologized at least, and his tone and attitude were quite acceptable. Li Hanfang didn't want to be serious with the other party. Etc. Zhang Xinren knew from Li Hanfang's tone that the other party was angry, and quickly shouted to stop. I'm sorry for what happened today. Otherwise, shall we leave a communication number? Just think that I owe you once. If you encounter any difficulties in the future and I can help, just treat it as an apology, okay? Zhang Xinren's face turned red with anxiety, and her tone of voice seemed a little awkward, looking a bit like a child who had done something wrong. She really didn't expect that things would turn out like this. Although the development of the matter was contrary to her original intention, it was her fault after all, so she still hoped that Li Hanfang could accept her apology. Li Hanfang's head is full of black lines, why is it not over yet? He turned around and was about to say something, but when he saw Zhang Xinren's pretty red face and serious apology, he swallowed the words that came to his lips. After looking at the other person for a long time, I felt that the other person was really sincerely apologizing. He then thought about it, this young lady's status was indeed extraordinary. If you know that Kewu Building has regulations, you can't peek and reveal the customer's personal privacy. Otherwise you will be severely punished. But the girl in front of her was not held accountable after watching her training, which meant she was an insider of the Kewu building, and her identity was definitely not simple. Maybe I really need help from others in the future. And judging from her attitude, it seems she really doesn't mean any harm to me. Thinking this way, Li Hanfang softened his tone slightly and said. Forget it this time, but I don't want this to happen again. After a pause, he took out his communicator and said. Remember, you owe me an apology. I will ask you for it when I need it. As the two exchanged communication numbers, Zhang Xinren also solemnly stated that there would be absolutely no next time, and apologized again in a sincere tone. In fact, Li Hanfang said this not because he really wanted to ask the other party for any help, but just to express that he accepted the other party's apology, nothing more. Li Hanfang nodded and said nothing more. After saying goodbye again, he turned and left, going home for dinner. Zhang Xinren, who was standing there, looked at Li Hanfang's back as he lowered his head and read a book and walked away without saying a word. At this time, Wa Lao suddenly appeared next to Zhang Xinren again, almost elusive. Miss, it's time for us to set off. Well, let's go. When Li Hanfang returned home, he first cooked two pies and a large bowl of noodles, and this time he finally ate two eggs. After a casual meal, 
Li Hanfang returned to the bedroom to practice. You must improve your strength as soon as possible and then make money. Eating these every day is not an option. After all, the cultivation of extraordinary people consumes a lot of body energy, so food supplements must be in place. Li Hanfang, who was sitting cross-legged on the ground, took out two spiritual stones again and started practicing the concentrated breathing method. Along with Li Hanfang's breathing, streams of spiritual energy poured into his body through his mouth, nose and body pores, and were then introduced into the spiritual cyclone. More than an hour later, the two spiritual stones in Li Hanfang's hands had turned into waste stones, and the spiritual energy contained in them had been absorbed. Slowly opening his eyes, Li Hanfang saw a faint golden arc flashing in his eyes. He stood up and clenched his fists. He felt that his body functions had improved a lot. He felt the cyclone in his body and found that he was not far from the first level of advanced level. His progress was extremely rapid. You must know that he has only been awakened for less than two days. Once he has absorbed the remaining spiritual stones, it should not be a big problem to enter the second level. Thinking like this, Li Hanfang had already stood up and walked out. There was still an hour of actual combat training to be completed in the afternoon. One afternoon later, on a plane, a young man in black clothes holding a Tang sword was fighting crazily with an ape-like monster. From time to time, there was a tinkling sound of golden iron, accompanied by low beast roars, sand and stones splashing, dust scatters. The monster is three meters tall and has an ape-like body shape. The bulging muscles on its body can still be clearly seen among the bristling hair. It looks extremely explosive. There are three eyes on the head, and the ferocious aura surges in the eyes, trying to choose people and devour them. Two 20-centimeter long fangs protrude outward, and the sharp claws are half a meter long. They exude a light metallic luster and are very powerful. It looks hideous and terrifying. The young man was wearing a black jacket, with a pair of lazy eyes under his messy hair, and there were golden arcs of lightning dancing as his figure flashed. The young man was Li Hanfang. At this time, he already had several claw marks on his body, and blood was flowing slowly. It was clear at a glance that he had been injured by a sharp weapon. The third level three-eyed demon hungry ape that was fighting with it was also covered in knife marks, and the hair on its body was dyed red with blood, making it look even more vicious. The three-eyed demon loving ape is good at speed, coupled with the extremely sensitive reflexes of the ape-like monster, and a pair of half-meter long sharp claws. The speed and intensity of the attacks are very high, making them very difficult to fight. Unless they are crushed with absolute strength, once a stalemate is reached, a human body will be very passive when competing with monsters for endurance. At this time, Li Hanfang could already feel that his physical condition was declining. After all, he had been in a high-intensity stalemate with the three-eyed demon-loving ape for ten minutes, which consumed a lot of energy and suffered serious injuries. He knew something had to be done quickly. Ding. Squeak. The Tang Dao in Li Hanfang's hand collided with the sharp claws of the three-eyed demon-hungry ape again, making a harsh metal-cutting sound. At the moment of the collision, Li Hanfang jumped back with the help of the force of the shock, and then performed a backflip to distance himself. Tang Dao was placed in front of him to facilitate the three-eyed demon-hungry ape that might pursue him at any time. Li Hanfang saw that the three-eyed demon-hungry ape confronting him in front did not pursue him immediately, as if he was waiting for him to lose blood and become exhausted. Li Hanfang's face was a little ugly. Sure enough, the ape monsters had high IQs. He didn't expect that the virtual battle cabin was even equipped with this. I can only try that trick. My body should be fine now. Li Hanfang whispered, then sheathed his sword and leaned forward with his body pressed down. His right hand climbed up to the handle of the knife on his left waist, and he slowly closed his eyes. His exhalation became heavier, and he made a slight hissing sound along with the white mist pouring out of the corner of his mouth. At this time, the three-eyed demon-loving ape felt an extremely dangerous aura coming from the human in front. It knew that it had to interrupt the human's energy storage. It didn't want to wait any longer. I saw the figure of the three-eyed demon-loving ape turning into an afterimage and rushing towards Li Hanfang. Accompanied by a sound breaking through the air, it flew half a meter in front of Li Hanfang in the blink of an eye. It raised its half-meter-long sharp claw and was about to slash at Li Hanfang's head, go. But, it's too late. 
Li Hanfang's eyes suddenly opened, and the golden thunder light suddenly appeared on his body. The pupils of his eyes had been illuminated by the thunder light and turned white, and then disappeared into a ray of thunder light. Boom! The moment Li Hanfang disappeared, the ground shattered and sand and gravel sputtered. Breath of Thunder One Type The three-eyed demon-loving ape felt a golden lightning suddenly emit from the human in front of him, and then the figure disappeared. Before it could figure out what was going on, a golden lightning flashed from the corner of its eye, and it felt a biting coldness all over its body. Before he had time to think about it, Instinct's body dwarfed, from being upright to lying on all fours. A golden cold light passed over the head of the three-eyed demon hungry ape. The hair on its body stood on end. If it took one step slower, it would move its head. Instinctively, he wanted to distance himself and avoid this human's sharp edge. But before it could make a move to leave the battlefield, a golden arc appeared again in the corner of its eye, making its scalp numb with shock. It was so fast that it could only use its limbs to leap into the air. Can barely be avoided. However, the three-eyed demon-loving ape that had just jumped into the air felt a chill on the back of his neck. This time, it was in midair and had no time to react. A golden arc flashed past it. The speed was extremely fast, and before he could see anything, a bright red bloodline appeared on his neck. Bang! Boom! Along with the sound of the three-eyed demon-hungry ape's body and head falling to the ground one after another, Li Hanfeng's figure appeared not far away. I saw that he was still maintaining a half-lunge stance, leaning forward and holding the handle of the knife with his right hand. As the white mist gradually dissipated from the corners of his mouth, he slowly spoke. Thunderbolt Flash 6th Company At this time, Li Hanfang was lying on the messy ground in a large shape, panting violently as the body of the three-eyed demon-loving ape slowly disappeared behind him, and he was completely exhausted. His strength at this time is not yet fully able to use Thunder Breath 1 Form Thunderbolt Flash 6th Chain and his body cannot bear 6 consecutive explosive attacks. If the three-eyed demon-loving ape escapes the final after a while, he can only wait for death, because this is already his current limit. When I reach the second level, I should be able to fully use Thunder Breath 1 Form Thunderbolt Flash 6th Link. The current capabilities are too single and lack the means of remote containment. It seems that we need to obtain killing points as soon as possible. Now that the training goal has been completed, you can go to the Extraordinary Guild tomorrow. Thinking of this, Li Hanfang endured the severe pain all over his body and stood up slowly. The scene around him was already fading. When the body of the three-eyed demon-loving ape completely disappeared, Li Hanfang's vision went dark and his consciousness fell into boundless darkness. It's training time. When he regained consciousness and was already lying in the virtual battle cabin, Li Hanfeng subconsciously moved his body. He didn't feel any pain, but felt a little mentally exhausted. Li Hanfeng took off his mental connection helmet, stood up and walked out of the hatch. He looked around the surrounding environment and found that there was nothing different. Li Hanfeng turned around and walked out. Walking on the lively Kewu street, people are coming and going, and various shops are full of goods. From time to time, the noisy cries and shouts of stall owners can be heard, making people feel like they are in a colorful world. The bustling crowd makes people feel the vitality and prosperity of Kewu Street. But Li Hanfang looked down at the comics and walked straight home, looking a little out of place with the surrounding environment. While reading the comics, I was constantly planning my plan to acquire abilities. After obtaining the killing point, you must first obtain a long-range attack ninjutsu. First choose the fire escape, the powerful fireball technique. Then there's the sharingan. Should I activate the first magatama first, or start with the third magatama? Well, the three magatama is a bit expensive, so it probably won't be possible in the short term. By the way, we also need to get the shadow clone, a training cheating device. It's a heavy task. While thinking, Li Hanfang quickly returned home with a somewhat tired spirit. He went straight back to the bedroom and took out the last two spiritual stones and began to use the full concentration breathing method. Tonight we need to reach the second level in one fell swoop, so that our actions tomorrow will be more certain. Li Hanfeng thought this way, but he did not expect that a communication phone call in the evening would slightly postpone his plan. More than an hour later, as the spiritual energy in the two spiritual stones in his hands was exhausted, Li Hanfeng, who was sitting cross-legged on the ground, 
suddenly made a slight sound, and then the surrounding spiritual energy gathered at a faster speed, forming a vortex. Pour it into Li Hanfang's body. After a moment, Li Hanfang opened his eyes, with golden arcs flashing in his eyes. He stood up slowly, clenched his fist slightly, feeling the power in his body and the spiritual power vortex that had grown larger. Now I should be able to adapt to the first form, Thunderbolt Flash, sixth form, and the second form. Thinking of this, he thought about it and opened his personal panel. Personal panel, race, human, age, 17, talent, breath of thunder, level, extraordinary level 2, skills, breath of thunder, form of 1, thunderbolt flash, breath of thunder, form of 2, rice soul. Task, none, sure enough, what he thought was right, the second level will unlock the second type. As for the one type, sixth link, eighth link and divine speed, they are all advanced moves belonging to thunder breath, one type, and the system is unified into one type. Then tomorrow it's time to go to the extraordinary guild to apply for hunter status, and then go out to the city to make money and kill points. I don't know how many killing points it takes to kill a monster of the same level. Because Li Hanfang's goal of going out of the city this time was to buy the fire release, the powerful fireball technique and the Magatama Sharingan in the system's ability mall. The powerful fireball technique can make Li Hanfang's fighting methods more diverse and no longer so single. The super dynamic vision provided by the Amagatama Sharingan can greatly enhance Li Hanfang's overall strength. Whether it is the blessing of close combat, or the ability to see through the direction of the enemy's spiritual energy, and predict the enemy's movements, it can change the situation of the battle. Auxiliary Capabilities Not to mention that you can better control your own explosive speed. You must know that the Ijoka type itself is an explosive and assault type move, which focuses on killing with one strike at extremely fast speed. There is no problem when your speed suppresses your opponent, but if your opponent is faster than you and counterattacks instantly, you may not be able to see your opponent's counterattack clearly because you are too fast, and you will directly hit the opponent's attack. The dynamic vision provided by the Sharingan is a perfect solution to this problem, and it also allows Li Hanfang to more perfectly use the continuous assault moves such as Breath of Thunder, 6th and 8th combination, which is a perfect match. These two abilities add up to a total of 600 killing points. The C-level Ninjutsu Go Fireball is 100 killing points, while the first Magatama Sharingan is 500 killing points, the second Magatama is upgraded to 2,000 killing points, and the third Magatama is increased to 10,000. Killing Point I don't know about the Mangekio Sharingan Li Hanfang above, because the plot has not been unlocked yet. I have just finished watching the plot of Zabuza Momochi. The Mangekio has not appeared yet, but I can't do it for the time being anyway. I was silently planning the choice of abilities and prices, as well as the things to prepare for tomorrow. Suddenly the communicator placed on the bedside suddenly rang. Li Hanfang was a little confused, who would be looking for him at this time. Without thinking much, he walked over and picked up the communicator and looked at it. He was slightly stunned, and then he seemed to think of something, and a helpless and gentle smile appeared on his face. Then the communication was connected, and before he could speak, a carefree voice came from the receiver. Hey, madman, what have you been doing these two days? Why didn't you go to school? Before Li Hanfang could speak, the other person spoke again. Come to my house quickly. My dad asked me to call you to come for dinner. I know, fatty, thank me. Thank you for what? You want to shirk it again, right? What? You don't want to recognize me as your brother? Li Hanfang. This sentence directly blocked Li Hanfang's intention to refuse to go to eat. What else could he say? He could only curse. You damn fat man, okay, I'll take a shower and go there. After hearing this, Cao Yumeng gave up, but then he said. I just asked you why you didn't go to school. Why didn't you answer me? Don't you regard me as your brother? Hearing this, Li Hanfang's head was full of black lines and he thought, did you give me a chance to say it? Okay, stop talking nonsense. I'm going to take a shower first. I'll meet you later and say, hang up. After speaking. Li Hanfang hung up the phone directly, otherwise the fat man would probably chatter endlessly. He got up and walked to the bathroom to take a shower first. He happened to be a little hungry too. Twenty minutes later, Li Hanfang was already standing at the door of Cao Yumeng's house. 
His face changed from his previous laziness and looked a little energetic, with a gentle smile on his face. From the memory of his predecessor, he learned that Cao Yumeng's father was Cao Dewa and his mother was Li Shuhua. The two of them are old acquaintances with their parents, and they have been very good to Li Hanfang since childhood. Cao Dewa was also a member of the city guard team before. His right foot was seriously injured in a battle. He was not treated in time, leaving sequelae. I couldn't do any high-intensity exercise anymore, so I retired from the city guard team and took a civilian job. As for Li Shuhua, Li Hanfang only knew that she was a very gentle and virtuous mother who had been working as a full-time housewife at home. There was no other mention in his memory. While thinking, Li Hanfang had already raised his hand and pressed the doorbell. Ding dong! A crisp doorbell sounded inside the door, and then Cao Yumeng's carefree voice came out. Come on, come on, are you crazy? Then the door was opened, and it was Cao Yumeng who came out. Perhaps because his talent awakened the transformation system, he became taller. He was already over two meters tall by visual inspection. He looked very fat, but his body of fat had turned into a body of fat, and he looked extremely strong. Just when Li Hanfang was about to speak, he saw Cao Yumeng rushing towards him with a bear hug. Because he was unprepared, Li Hanfang only had time to shout. FK, fat man, what are you doing? Being hugged tightly by Cao Yumeng's bear-like body, Li Hanfang could feel the bones in his body making an overwhelming clicking sound. Damn it, now that I've seen you, I thought you were out in the cold. Cao Yumeng, who was holding Li Hanfang, greeted him in a special way, and at the same time he did not forget to ask. Where have you been these two days? Why don't you come to school? Let me go first, I don't like men's hugs. Hearing this, Cao Yumeng quickly let go of Li Hanfang while still shouting. What the hell, what do you mean? I'm a pure man. Okay, don't be poor. I have something to do and I have to ask for leave from my old classmate. If I don't have anything to do before the college entrance examination, I might not go back to school. Hearing this, Cao Yumeng's face drooped, but he didn't ask anything. Li Hanfang had his own reasons for not saying anything, and he wouldn't ask any more questions. This was also the tacit understanding between them as best friends for so many years. It's just that when he thinks that there are still three months left for him to study and review at school alone, and he doesn't know who to share his desire to share with, he feels uncomfortable. Okay, don't look so droopy. I'll take you flying when you take the college entrance examination. As he spoke, Li Hanfang clenched his fist and punched Cao Yumeng's left shoulder. This blow made Cao Yumeng's face turn pale, and he seemed to be in great pain, but he quickly turned his face away, but Li Hanfang was still aware of it at that moment. Madman, let's go in, at the door. What happened to your shoulder? Is it injured? Cao Yumeng wanted to change the topic, but was interrupted by Li Hanfang and asked directly. Ah, it's just, that, I'm a little too happy to have awakened the A-level talent. The rewards have been a bit intense these two nights, which has caused some soreness in my shoulders. Cao Yumeng scratched his head with his right hand, pretending to be embarrassed, and spoke hesitantly. But Li Hanfang's head is full of black lines. Why can't he find an excuse to be normal? Fortunately, you can think of it, and the reward is a bit fierce, and the arms with thick thighs are so painful, how can people be okay? Li Hanfang frowned. He didn't think it was anything at first. He thought it might have been caused by Cao Yumeng's fall or actual training at school. But now that he is making excuses to hide it from himself, he has something else to hide. Just as he was about to ask again, Cao Dewa's voice came from inside the room. You brat, is it Xiao Feng? Why don't you come in? At this time, Cao Yumeng hurriedly shouted as if he had been granted amnesty. It's a lunatic, let me talk about something. Let's go in now. Let's go. After saying that, he pushed Li Hanfang into the house. Li Hanfang didn't feel like asking any more questions, so he just made a mental note to wait until he finished eating. After Cao Yumeng entered the living room, he saw a tall middle-aged man sitting on the sofa. The man looked very strong, with deep facial contours, exuding an aura of calmness and perseverance. When he was not smiling, he looked a little serious, but once he started to smile, his expression instantly became gentle and friendly. Hello Uncle Sao, it's Zhao Feng, come and sit for a while, your aunt will prepare the meal soon. The man was Sao Dewa, Sao Yumeng's father. 
When he saw Li Hanfang, a smile appeared on his face and he spoke. Li Hanfang turned his head and looked at Li Shuhua who was busy in the kitchen. Hello Aunt Li. Li Shuhua heard Li Hanfang's greetings and turned around, revealing a fair face. Her natural face, without makeup, could not tell that she was a woman nearly 40 years old. Her eyes were gentle and bright, always revealing with some loving expression. Hey, Zhao Feng go and chat with your uncle first. Auntie will be ready soon. Okay, Auntie, please be busy first. After saying that, Li Hanfang walked towards Cao Dewa, sat directly next to Cao Yumeng, and then joked to Cao Dewa. Uncle Cao's body looks stronger and stronger. It seems that he has been spanking his little tummy a lot recently. Cao Dewa was stunned when he heard this, and then laughed and cursed. Why did you become as poor as that brat? What? I heard that brat said that you had awakened your S-level talent. Do you want to get an explanation for him? Upon hearing this, Li Hanfang reacted very quickly and complimented quickly. How can you not? What I mean is that you can just call me to fight next time, and you can always wait by the side. Besides, let alone S-level talent, even if you have awakened SSS level, you can't survive a few moves in front of Uncle Sao. Ah. When Sao Dewa heard this, he burst into laughter. Ah ha ha, I still like Zhao Feng's words, and I don't want that brat. As he spoke, he glanced at Sao Yumeng out of the corner of his eye. Sao Yumeng also curled his lips, not daring to say anything in anger. Then Sao Dewa said again. But don't worry, I haven't beaten this kid since he entered his third year of high school. He has been doing pretty well recently. When he said the last sentence, Sao Dewa couldn't help smiling and feeling proud in his eyes. After all, his son has awakened his A-level talent, which is something to be proud of. When Li Hanfang heard what Sao Dewa said, his eyes flickered slightly, and then he glanced at Sao Yumeng beside him without any trace. Sao Yumeng was startled, and then he said to himself, F asterisk CK, this lunatic is really clever, and it seems he can't hide it. Li Hanfang didn't say anything and continued to chat and laugh with Sao Dewa. Soon Li Shuhua's voice came from the kitchen. It's time to eat. Let's clean up and come and take a seat. After hearing this, the three of them stood up and walked to the dining table to sit down. What they saw was a table of sumptuous dishes. The color of the roast duck is golden and bright, the seaweed and egg drop soup exudes a faint fragrance, the sauce on the sweet and sour pork filet is shining, a circle of burning flames is along the edge of the garlic white meat pot, and the surface of the cheese baked eggplant is covered with a thin layer the golden puff pastry is tumbling in the pot, and the fresh shrimps are even more refreshing when decorated with mint. Li Hanfang was seen moving his index finger, and after Li Shuhua took his seat, everyone started eating, not forgetting all kinds of exaggerations while eating. During this period, several people were talking and laughing. Father Sao and Mother Sao called Li Hanfang over mainly because they wanted to see his recent mental state. After all, that incident happened not long ago. The two of them were also worried about Li Hanfang's situation, especially after Sao Yumeng said that Li Hanfang had not gone to school in the past few days. They were even more worried, so there were various verbal tests at the dinner table. Li Hanfang naturally saw it clearly, so he spoke directly. Uncle and aunt, you don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I'm training these days and preparing for the college entrance examination. I've already asked for leave from my class teacher. Hearing this, the two of them felt a little relieved. They continued to eat and talk and laugh. Soon the meal was finished. After a few people returned to the living room and continued chatting for a while, Li Hanfeng saw that the time was almost up and immediately get up and say goodbye. Uncle and aunt, I have training arrangements tomorrow, so I'll go back first. Okay, go back and have a good rest and pay attention to your health when training. As he spoke, he waved his hand to Li Hanfang, indicating that he could leave. Li Hanfang turned to look at Sao Yumeng. Fat man, can you give it to me? Hearing this, Sao Yumeng's expression froze. The two of them walked out of the room and walked along the corridor covered with light yellow tiles to the elevator at the end. Then they got on the elevator and pressed 1F directly. During this period, Sao Yumeng hesitated many times, as if he wanted to say something, but when he saw Li Hanfeng looking down at the book in his hand, he seemed to have completely forgotten his existence, and he refrained from speaking. Ding! With a crisp ringing, the elevator door slowly opened, and the two of them walked out one after another. 
After walking out of the apartment, Cao Yumeng seemed to finally be able to bear it no longer. He took a deep breath and was about to speak. But he saw Li Hanfang slowly put away the book in his hand, then turned to look at him, his eyes becoming rarely serious. Tell me, what's going on? Cao Yumeng opened his mouth, but the words he was thinking about were stuck in his throat when he saw Li Hanfang's eyes. After a long silence, he decided to tell the truth. That, let me beat you up. Li Hanfang looked calm, as if he had expected it. Tell me more specifically, why did you get beaten up after you finally awakened your A-level talent? It's Zhou Xian and Wang Dingshan from class 2. Yesterday, I defeated Zhou Xian with one move in the class battle training. Maybe he felt that he had lost face in front of Zhang Xin, so he called Wang Dingshan to block me after school. But at that time, the old class 1 was passing by somewhere, so they didn't do anything to me, they just hit me off guard. After listening to Cao Yumeng's explanation, Li Hanfang roughly knew what was going on. Yesterday was Monday, and senior high school students had to conduct class practical training, sometimes with other classes. Yesterday was a practical training with class 2. Zhou Xian is the squad leader of the second class. I heard that his family has some influence in this SH base city, and he usually behaves arrogantly. Zhang Xin, the squad leader who has been pursuing their first class, is also the daughter of the teaching director Zhang Yuanfang. However, Zhang Xin has never been cold to him and basically paid little attention to him. Perhaps it was because he was concerned about Zhou Xian's family that he never broke up with him. The two met in actual combat training. Perhaps because Cao Yumeng won a move, they held a grudge. They dragged Wang Dingshan to block Cao Yumeng after school that day. Wang Dingshan, on the other hand, is Zhou Xian's lackey. He seems to have awakened a B-level power on the day of awakening. No, if I remember correctly, that Wang Dingshan has a B-level earth element talent, right? How could it hurt? Li Hanfang paused at this point, and then asked, What kind of talent does Zhou Xian have? After you left that day, what he awakened was the A-level strengthening talent, Extreme Speed. I see, it makes sense. The A-level enhancement system lost one move against the A-level transformation system. He felt that he had lost face in front of the one he liked. Coupled with his arrogant and domineering character and his unyielding retribution, he just called him People Blocked Cao Yumeng. Thinking of this, a cold light flashed in Li Hanfang's eyes, and he said softly, he doesn't know you are my brother. Cao Yumeng opened his mouth, but no words came out for a long time. Explain. He said that if you cause trouble for him, someone will definitely deal with you. It may be someone from his family. I heard that his family is not simple in this SH base city. After speaking, Cao Yumeng glanced at Li Hanfang with a guilty look. After all, he didn't want to cause trouble to Li Hanfang, so he still advised. Crazy man. Why don't we just forget about it? It's not a big deal anyway, I just suffered a little bit and it will be fine in two days. Li Hanfang glanced at him and said nothing, but his mind was frantically searching for memories of Zhou Xian in his previous life, especially about his family background. But there is no useful information, I just know that it is not simple. After a while, a coldness flashed in Li Hanfang's eyes, I don't care what kind of power you have, if you ask people to beat my brother, my brother can naturally ask people to beat you, but if you want to use your power to overwhelm others, then. Li Hanfang's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and then he said with a smile. I'm actually very interested in who will take care of me. Madman, I, okay, remember to call me when you go to school tomorrow morning. Before Cao Yumeng could finish speaking, Li Hanfang had already spoken first. After speaking, he turned around and left without giving Cao Yumeng a chance to speak. Standing Cao Yumeng looked at Li Hanfang's leaving figure, his fists clenched involuntarily, his eyes full of determination. No matter who it is, you can't touch my brother, or I will risk my life with you. Early the next morning, in front of Li Hanfang's house. Boom, boom, boom. Madman, let's go. Click. Li Hanfang opened the door and walked out, still looking listless. He looked down at the Naruto comic in his hand without looking up and said. Let's go. After saying that, he closed the door and went downstairs first. Cao Yumeng quickly followed. Walking on the street that he had walked countless times to school, Cao Yumeng asked excitedly. Madman, 
What are you going to do today? Are you waiting to block the door after school or are you waiting for today's actual training? Today is Wednesday, and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are practical training sessions for senior high school students. Sao Yumeng also thought clearly last night, wasn't it just a fight? At most, he would be scolded by his boss and beaten again when he returned home. Damn it, just do it. After hearing this, Li Hanfang raised his head and glanced at Sao Yumeng. Naturally, he noticed the change in his mentality, but he didn't say anything more. He just said softly, I have other things to do and I don't have time to wait for school to end. Monday's training session will be against class 2. Today probably won't be class 2. Sao Yumeng was stunned for a moment after hearing this, and then asked quickly. What to do? Li Hanfang glanced at him, a little speechless. He said it so clearly, what else could he do? Of course, if you encounter someone, do it directly. If you can't find it, find it and do it. Find him and beat him. After speaking, Li Hanfang walked towards the school without raising his head. Sao Yumeng, who was left in a daze, had not yet come back to his senses. After a while, Sao Yumeng screamed strangely, and then hurriedly chased after him, running over and shouting. Damn it, crazy brother Niu Coin, crazy brother, wait for me. Soon, amidst Sao Yumeng's tireless words along the way, the two of them arrived at the gate of the number. One lieutenant colonel, Li Hanfang, who had been looking down at the Naruto comics, was about to walk to the school. Sao Yumeng on the side touched Li Hanfang with his elbow. Li Hanfang looked up at him with some doubts in his eyes. Sao Yumeng did not speak, but raised his chin to signal Li Hanfang to look forward. Li Hanfang turned his head and looked slightly startled. What a coincidence, it just saves time. I saw two teenagers walking towards each other on the other side of the road, talking and laughing, but did not notice the two people here. The man on the left looks very confident and arrogant. He is tall and strong, with a deep facial contour and slender features. Especially his lunar eyes make people feel very uncomfortable. He is not a good bird at first glance. The one on the right has an ordinary appearance and a short stature. He is easily ignored in the crowd. As he talks, he occasionally glances at the boy next to him from the corner of his eye, with a flattering expression on his face from time to time. The two people were Zhou Xian and Wang Dingshan. At this time, they were still chatting and laughing and did not notice the two people walking towards them. Brother Xian, you beat up Fatty Sao the day before yesterday. Do you want to publicize this? After all, Fatty Sao is also an A-level talent. Maybe Zhang Xin will look at you with admiration when he finds out. As for losing a move to Sao Yumeng in actual combat training, he selectively forgot about it. No, there's no need to deliberately publicize such a small thing, um. I'm saying don't do it deliberately, just let her know about it accidentally. When Zhou Xian said this, his gloomy eyes narrowed slightly, as if he was smiling. Wang Dingshan understood and quickly promised, and then complimented again. Brother Xian, don't worry, leave it to me to ensure there are no traces. Also, Brother Xian, we beat up Fatty Sao, and that Li Hanfang didn't come to trouble us. It seems that Brother Xian's name is still useful, but in my opinion, even if Li Hanfang comes, he won't be Xian. Brother's opponent. When Zhou Xian, who was always smiling, heard this, he couldn't stop the proud look on his face. Just when he was about to speak, a sudden voice sounded in the field, causing both of their smiles to freeze. Really, Brother Xian, in my opinion, you are in a bit of danger today. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Gao Wu, I went crazy with the animation system. Chapter 16 The two of them looked up at Li Hanfang and Sao Yumeng who had already walked in front of them. They didn't know what to say for a moment, and the atmosphere suddenly became a little solid. Wang Dingshan opened his mouth and wanted to say something harsh, but when he saw Li Hanfang glance at him lightly, he didn't make a sound. It seems like you don't have anything else to say, so I'm going to get started. At this time, Li Hanfang spoke first, breaking the somewhat solid atmosphere, but the words he spoke made the air feel a little heavy. While speaking, Li Hanfang had already put away the book in his hand, as if he was about to take action. Seeing this scene, Zhou Xian couldn't sit still, his face was a little gloomy, and he looked at Li Hanfang with gloomy eyes and said, Li Hanfang, do you really want to have trouble with me? 
Hearing this, Li Hanfang ignored him and just motioned to Cao Yumeng not to interfere for a while, but to go aside and watch carefully. Just kidding, you touched my brother, and now you ask me if I want to have trouble with you. Why are you so big-faced? Zhou Xian saw that Li Hanfang ignored him and was determined to teach him a lesson, and his already gloomy face became even more ugly. Li Hanfang, do you think I'm afraid of you? Do you know who I am? Zhou Xian was not stupid. He knew that the two of them would not get any benefits from fighting. After all, the opponent was an S-level talent and an A-level talent, so he could only say some threatening words to see if he could make Li Hanfang have any scruples. After all, this is the entrance of the school. At this time, many students have gathered around and started talking. I'll go, what's going on? Is this a fight? By the way, how dare Zhou Xian provoke Li Hanfang this time? Don't you know that he has awakened his S-level extraordinary talent? What do you know? I heard that there seems to be some powerful people in Zhou Xian's family. So what if he is powerful? Is it possible that he asked his father to come to school? Is it embarrassing? Ignoring Zhou Xian's threatening words, but hearing the comments around him, Li Hanfang knew that he could not delay any longer. This was the school gate after all. The teacher was about to come out to check after a while, so he immediately said. I'll give you a chance to take action. You two should do it together. Don't waste my time. Zhou Xian saw that his threats were ineffective and people didn't even pay attention to him. He was immediately furious. He had never been ignored like this before in his life. He said viciously. Li Hanfang, don't think I'm afraid of you. Today I'm going to see how strong your S level is. Don't just show off. Li Hanfang still ignored him. He even took out a comic book and started reading it. He waved to him and motioned for him to hurry up. Seeing that Li Hanfang despised him so much, Zhou Xian became furious again and signaled Wang Dingshan to strike first. He looked for an opportunity aside and then roared at Li Hanfang. Li Hanfang, you are looking for death. After speaking, spiritual energy surged around his body, and his body turned into an afterimage and rushed towards Li Hanfang. However, he did not attack immediately. Instead, he flashed around Li Hanfang, looking for opportunities. At this time, Wang Dingshan also roared, and a pair of khaki armor appeared on his body. His strength and defense were greatly improved, and then he attacked Li Hanfang directly. His speed was not slow, and he was in front of Li Hanfang in the blink of an eye. He raised his fist and hit Li Hanfang on the chest. However, Li Hanfang still lowered his head to read, as if he didn't see the heavy punch coming, and still looked at the book in his hand seriously. However, just when the fist was about to land on his chest, he exerted force with his right foot and moved his body towards turning sideways to the left, he just avoided this heavy punch. Wang Dingshan's punch failed, and Li Hanfang's slightly lazy voice sounded in his ears. Is this the only level? It's too slow. Wang Dingshan's eyes narrowed, and then his anger surged up. His fist that had just missed hit Li Hanfang's head with a horizontal swing, but Li Hanfang just stepped backwards, as if he had accurately calculated the distance, and his fist fell from the book in Li Hanfang's hand, passed over the top, and the fist wind blew up Li Hanfang's somewhat fluffy bangs. Chance, Zhou Xian, who had already ducked behind Li Hanfang, looked at the unsuspecting figure, and immediately rushed towards Li Hanfang with a surge of spiritual energy all over his body. Extreme Speed Zhou Xian's speed was extremely fast, and he turned into an afterimage and came behind Li Hanfang with a sound that broke through the air. A look of ferocity flashed on his face, and he punched Li Hanfang in the back of the head. This was a fatal blow. Wang Dingshan, whose fist failed again, stepped forward again and aimed a double dragon at Li Hanfang's chest. Succeeded, seeing Li Hanfang, who was being attacked from both sides and still reading with his head down, Seemingly unaware of the danger behind him, a thought flashed through Zhou Xian and Wang Dingshan's minds at the same time. However, just when the two people's thoughts came to mind and the two attacks were about to fall on Li Hanfang, Golden Arc suddenly appeared on Li Hanfang's body, and with a roar, Li Hanfang disappeared. Oops. At this time, the two of them came up with this idea again. Zhou Xian, who was too fast, had no time to react because of Li Hanfang's sudden disappearance. He ran straight into Wang Dingshan's fists. However, because everything was happening it happened in a flash of lightning. It was impossible for Wang Dingshan to hold back his fists. He could only watch Zhou Xian hit his fists. 
Bang. A sound. Zhou Xian was knocked upside down and spit out a mouthful of blood in midair, while Wang Dingshan took two steps back due to the huge impact. Then before he could stand still, a figure with golden arcs dancing on his body appeared behind him. His pupils suddenly shrank, and a chill shot up from his heels to Tianling Dai. The hairs all over his body stood on end. Before he had time to react, a sudden a huge force had already been drawn on his waist, and the khaki armor on his body shattered, and the whole person flew in the direction of Zhou Xian. Bang! Wow! After landing next to Zhou Xian, who was lying on the ground holding his chest and howling, Wang Dingshan also spat out a mouthful of blood. At this time, the surroundings were deathly silent, the whole place could hear a needle drop, and you could even hear the sound of some people nearby swallowing saliva. It's really too strong. It's too fast. From the time Wang Dingshan punched Li Hanfang, to Zhou Xian flying backwards, and Li Hanfang kicking Wang Dingshan away, the whole process only took about five seconds, and Li Hanfang was still reading a book the whole time. FK, 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 is this an S-level talent? Isn't it too exaggerated? Everyone is just an ant below the S-level. It's not easy to defeat an A-level and a B-level. Impossible, S-level talent can't be that strong. Li Hanfang is definitely not as simple as S-level. That's right, and when Li Hanfang took action just now, there were thunder and lightning flashes on his body, and the spiritual energy on his body was so strong that he didn't seem to be on the same level as us. I suspect that he may have twin talents, and he is already at the second level. Holy shit, how is that possible? I've only reached the second level in a few days, and I have twin talents. I shouldn't say this nonsense. Guess. It must be said that this understatement of taking away the extraordinary talents of an A-level and AB-level brought a strong visual impact to the surrounding students. They couldn't tell at all that this was actually just a crushing of absolute strength. After all, Li Hanfang, who was already at the second level, had to fight two talent levels no higher than S-level, and he was still at the first level and had no actual combat experience. He really shouldn't take it easy. In Li Hanfang's opinion, the two of them were too slow and could not pose a threat to him at all. Damn it, madman, why are you so strong? No, how did you train? You must lead me. At this time, Cao Yumeng also ran over and said excitedly. Li Hanfang ignored him and walked straight to the two people who had already helped each other to sit up. He glanced at Zhou Xian and paused on his chest for a moment. This kid was lucky. If Wang Dingshan hadn't withdrawn his strength in the end, the impact caused by that kind of speed would probably make it impossible to get up from lying on the ground. The two of them looked at Li Hanfang walking over with a hint of fear in their eyes. This man was too strong and was not at the same level as them. Even Zhou Xian lowered his head, not daring to let Li Hanfang see the gloom in his eyes. Li Hanfang looked at Zhou Xian and didn't speak for a long time. The comments around him also disappeared. They were all looking at Li Hanfang, wondering what he was going to do next. Zhou Xian felt the pressure from Li Hanfang and was sweating on his forehead, but he I'm not stupid enough to say anything cruel at this time. Suddenly, Li Hanfang leaned over Zhou Xian's ear and said in an extremely calm voice. Let's just forget about it. If you don't want to let it go, call out the person you said can deal with me. Also, you can come to me for revenge, but if you dare to trouble Fatty again. At the end of the sentence, Li Hanfang exuded a biting chill, making Zhou Shandu shiver. After saying that, he ignored Zhou Xian's reaction and didn't wait for his reply. He stood up and nodded to Cao Yumeng, then turned and left in the eyes of everyone. He had business today and didn't want to be caught back to school by the teacher. Zhou Xian looked at Li Hanfang's disappearing back. As the people nearby pointed at him and mocked him, his eyes changed from fearful to angry, and finally full of resentment. Li Hanfang, just wait for me. Li Hanfang, who had gradually walked away, did not know that two eyes on a teaching building near the school entrance had witnessed the entire battle. Principal, the level of spiritual energy this boy just exploded is already at the second level, right? Well, it should be right. It seems that this boy is indeed not as simple as the S-level enhancement type. It seems that our number one middle school will be in the limelight in this year's martial arts test. These two people were the vice principal Li Xingwu and the teaching director Zhang Yuanfang. They had already come here to watch before the fighting started, and at the same time notified other teachers to ignore it. After all, 
This was the gate of number. One middle school. If they didn't notice a crowd gathering here to fight, then they should go home and retire. It's just that they didn't stop it. Only when there is struggle can there be progress. After all, this is a world of martial arts, and they also want to see Li Hanfang's strength. After all, Li Hanfang's performance on the Day of Awakening was not simple. They couldn't see through it, and they were also on guard not to kill anyone. Li Hanfang, who was heading to the Extraordinary Guild, didn't know this. What he was thinking about now was leaving the city soon and Zhou Xian's affairs. He knew that with Zhou Xian's vengeful character, this matter would definitely never end. But he couldn't kill him just because he beat Fatty, but if he came to cause trouble again. Thinking of this, Li Hanfang's eyes flashed with coldness. I gave you a chance, I hope you are wiser. Thinking like this, Li Hanfang started to lower his head and read the book again, and continued to walk towards the Extraordinary Guild. For him, Zhou Xian's incident was just a small episode. His current priority was to improve his strength. As long as he was strong enough, everything would be possible. Trouble is just a cloud. Half an hour later, in front of the Extraordinary Guild. Extraordinary Guild. It accepts extraordinary people from all over the Federation who have not joined the National Combat Order due to various reasons. After passing its assessment, they can become hunters of the Extraordinary Guild and can accept tasks and release tasks. Becoming a member will provide you with great conveniences, so its power is extremely huge. Li Hanfang looked at an office building in front of him that covered an area of 1,000 square meters. The words, Extraordinary Guild, were printed on it. People were coming and going in front of the door, and there was a lot of noise. Form a team and leave the city. We are short of an extraordinary person with melee talent. Those with experience will be given priority. We need people from the auxiliary system here. Those with healing abilities will be given priority. Salaries are negotiable. Is there any intermediate extraordinary person? Go to the central area of the Misty Forest today to do it. Li Hanfang ignored these shouts and walked straight into the mission hall of the Extraordinary Guild. Hello sir, what business do you need to handle? As soon as he entered the mission hall, a beautiful receptionist in professional attire came over with a professional smile on her face. Seeing Li Hanfang's young appearance, a trace of surprise flashed in her eyes. Hello, I'm here to conduct the hunter assessment. Okay, may I ask what level you are at? Although the hostess was surprised that Li Hanfang came to test the hunters at such a young age, she still asked with a smile. Second order. Hearing Li Hanfang's answer, the surprise in the receptionist's beauty's eyes became even stronger. Such a young second-level extraordinary, he should still be a high school student, right? Okay sir, come with me and fill in the information. Soon, the beautiful receptionist took Li Hanfang to a reception sofa and sat down. Then she took out a form and handed it to Li Hanfang. Li Hanfang took a look and saw some basic personal information on it, such as age, identity, strength level, etc., but there was no talent level, only talent categories. Li Hanfang quickly filled it out and handed it to the beautiful waitress. The beauty receptionist took a look and said to herself, she is indeed a senior high school student. She has reached the second level just a few days after awakening. She has such a strong talent. It seems that the talent level is not low. Then she said. For the first time, low-level transcendental beings can only take the bronze hunter assessment. Come with me here. Okay. Bronze hunters correspond to low-level extraordinary beings, silver hunters correspond to mid-level ones, and gold correspond to high-level ones. Li Hanfang knows these. Soon they arrived at a training room on the second floor, where there were various weapons such as swords, guns, sticks and swords, and a competition platform in the middle. Is he the one who wants to test the bronze hunter? At this time, a rich male voice sounded in the training room. Yes, Mr. Zhang, I'll leave this to you. After saying that, he smiled at Li Hanfang and nodded before retreating, and Li Hanfang looked at the man opposite him after nodding in response. The man was wearing a dark blue sportswear, with a resolute face, and was about 27 or 28 years old. He had a bronze badge on his left chest with three golden five-pointed stars on it. Three Star Bronze It seems that he is the assessor of the extraordinary guild who specializes in assessing bronze hunters. Li Hanfang was thinking in his heart, and at the same time he said, Hello, I'm here to test the bronze hunter. Sorry for bothering you. 
Mr. Zhang took a deep look at Li Hanfang, then nodded and said. I think you should be a third-year high school student. You seem to be very talented for reaching the second level so quickly. But this is a hunter assessment, and it depends on your combat prowess. If your combat prowess is not good, I will not let you you passed, otherwise you would be seeking death if you leave the city, do you understand? Yes, I will try my best, then let's get started. Li Hanfang replied, not wanting to talk too much, but also wanting to start as soon as possible. After all, he had not fought against a superhuman being yet, so he still had some expectations. Mr. Zhang nodded, pointed to the various weapons on the sidelines and said, you choose a weapon and let's get started. Li Hanfang quickly chose a Tang Dao and stood opposite Mr. Zhang, who was holding a spear. Mr. Zhang looked at Li Hanfang who was holding Tang Dao and said, attack with all your strength and show me your strength. Hearing this, Li Hanfang did not speak, but nodded and took a deep breath. The breath of thunder began to circulate, and golden arcs began to beat on his body. Mr. Zhang opposite saw this scene and felt the aura emanating from Li Hanfang's body at this moment. His eyes condensed and became more dignified. At this time, Li Hanfang kicked the ground, turned into a golden point of light and came to Mr. Zhang, and slashed his chest with the Tang knife in his hand. So fast, Mr. Zhang narrowed his eyes and could not allow him to think too much. All he could see was that on one side of his body, he held a gun in front of his chest. Ding! There was a harsh sound of gold and iron clashing. Mr. Zhang felt his hands go numb, but he quickly started to fight back. The spear leaning against his chest was pressed forward by him, and the gun body hit Li Hanfang directly. Li Hanfang was extremely fast. Before the attack came, the electric arc surged on his body. He ducked to the left to avoid the attack, and then slashed towards the opponent's side with his backhand knife. Boom! The spear hit the ground with a loud noise, and the shot missed. Mr. Zhang calmly held the gun body with his right hand, twisted his waist, and the gun body directly hit Li Hanfang's waist with a slash. Dang! The sword and gun collided, and Li Hanfang felt a huge force coming from the sword. He did not choose to strike hard, but relaxed his feet, put his weight back, and allowed the force to knock him away. He quickly pulled away while releasing the force. Distance. Da da da. After flying five meters, he landed and took several steps back before Li Hanfang stabilized his figure. It's so powerful. I haven't used my talent yet. I'm worthy of being a third level peak transcendent with rich combat experience. Li Hanfang was thinking in his heart, and the movement of his hand was not slow. He directly put the knife into the sheath, leaned forward, and a burst of white mist began to pour out from the corner of his mouth with a hissing sound. Mr. Zhang, who saw this scene across from him, felt the hairs all over his body stand up. An extremely dangerous aura came from Li Hanfang. He did not dare to use his talent carelessly. Musket, fire cage, following his two soft drinks, bursts of flames began to appear on the spear in his hand, and soon it turned into a spear as solid as flames. The flames around him even enveloped it in all directions, forming a four-cornered cage made of flames. At this time, Li Hanfang opened his eyes, the golden thunder around him beat wildly, and cracks began to appear on the ground. Breath of Thunder 1 Type Thunderbolt Flash 6th Chain Boom! As Li Hanfang disappeared, sand and rocks flew everywhere, leaving a deep pit. But Mr. Zhang, who was already prepared for a defensive counterattack, shrank his pupils and looked a little horrified. It's so fast, I can't see clearly. Phew! The sound of something being cut off sounded from behind Mr. Zhang. He quickly turned around and saw a golden arc flashing past. The fire cage behind him had been cut open, but he didn't see anyone. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a golden light. Phew, 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 Mr. Zhang's fire cage had been completely cut open, and he had a look of shock on his face at this time. It was so fast that he had no chance to fight back, and he didn't even see anyone clearly. Suddenly he felt a chill rushing from his heels to Tianling Gai. Later, there was no time to think, and he reacted completely based on instinct. The flame gun in his hand swiped backwards, and the flames on the gun turned into an energy arc and came out of the gun. Boom! The flame energy directly swept out a huge crack on the training stone wall, which was covered with scorch marks and sparks flying everywhere. Mr. Zhang's pupils trembled sharply, missed. Oops! 
he was just about to leave the place and distance himself. At this time, he only saw a flash of golden light in his peripheral vision, and a Tang Dao was already placed across his neck. Three points into the meet. His face was full of disbelief. Mr. Zhang froze in place with a look of horror on his face, not daring to move. The Tang knife on his neck cut open the skin, and bright red blood flowed along the blade and dripped onto the ground. Tick tock, tick tock. The sound of blood falling to the ground was not loud, but it shook Mr. Zhang's heart. Such fast speed, such terrifying moves, and such strong talent. It is hard to believe that this is a talent move that a newly awakened young man can create. This kind of talent is truly unheard of and only seen in his life. At this time, the electric arc on Li Hanfang disappeared, and his breathing became calm and long. He slowly put away the Tang knife and apologized. Sorry, the speed was too fast, and I lost control. After saying that, he touched the black hair on his head with some embarrassment and showed an awkward yet polite smile. Mr. Zhang, who originally thought it was okay, almost went crazy when he heard this. Damn it, I thought you were deliberately giving me a blow, but you didn't hold the knife. If you shake your hand again, will I be dead? What he was thinking in his mind turned out to be, it's okay, I understand. After all, this move is very strong, so it should be difficult to control it. As he spoke, a half-hearted smile appeared on his face, and then he continued. I wonder which school my little brother is a student from. He has such strength. One of the best. Li Hanfang didn't hide it. After all, the information he just filled in was also on it. As expected, he is a high school student. It's really scary. Mr. Zhang thought to himself, and then said. My name is Zhang Ziyuan, and I am the bronze hunter examiner of the Extraordinary Guild. I wonder what I call my little brother. My name is Li Hanfang, a senior student in number. One middle school. Li Hanfang is not arrogant either. He can naturally see that Zhang Ziyuan in front of him wants to make friends with him, but this does no harm to Li Hanfang, right? Ah ha ha, it turns out to be little brother Han Fang. Come on, I'll take you to get the hunter badge. Zhang Ziyuan said with a laugh, then put his hand on his neck and wanted to take Li Hanfang out. Brother Lao Ziyuan is here. After all, they are so enthusiastic, and they are like little brothers, so it's hard for me to be too overbearing, right? Sure enough, when he heard the words, Brother Ziyuan, Zhang Ziyuan's face suddenly showed a bright smile. The two quickly arrived at the mission hall. Zhang Ziyuan asked Li Hanfang to sit on the guest sofa and wait, then turned and walked to the second floor. A moment later, Zhang Ziyuan came back with a beautiful woman in professional attire. At this time, gauze had been wrapped around his neck, and the beautiful woman beside him was holding an exquisite wooden box in her hand. Brother Han Feng, are you here to test the hunters? Do you want to go out of the city to hunt monsters? As he spoke, he opened the wooden box, took out a bronze badge and handed it to Li Hanfang. Li Hanfang took it and saw that there were three five-pointed stars on it, which were proof of a bronze three-star hunter. Yes, let's exercise our strength prepare for the college entrance examination, and make some money on the way. Li Hanfang didn't hide it. After all, if you think about this kind of thing, you can think of it. Why are you here to test the hunter's certificate if you don't go out of the city? Pretending. Zhang Ziyuan hesitated, his eyes flickered, and then he said. I know brother Hanfang is strong and will not go deep into the central area of the misty forest, but this thing should be of great help to you and can avoid many dangers. Just consider it a meeting gift from my brother. As he spoke, he took out a scroll and handed it to Li Hanfang. After hearing what he said, Li Hanfang hesitated slightly but reached out to take it. After opening it and taking a look, my pupils suddenly shrank. It turned out to be a map of the misty forest. Although it was only the outer and part of the central area, it was not comprehensive. It only recorded the distribution and dangerous areas of some monsters. But it is also very precious, because every danger sign recorded above may be marked with a human life. After all, if you don't die, how do you know the danger? Brother Ziyuan, this, hey, don't be polite to me. Just treat it as a friend. I might want your help in the future. After hearing what Zhang Ziyuan said, Li Hanfeng stopped delaying and just said. Brother Ziyuan, if you want anything in the future, you will do your best within your ability. When Zhang Ziyuan heard what Li Hanfang said, he also smiled and laughed. 
Ah ha ha, okay, I'm just waiting for your words. Then the two chatted for a few more words, and then Li Hanfang stood up to say goodbye. After Li Hanfang walked away towards the city gate, Zhang Ziyuan looked at his back and murmured in a low voice. I didn't expect that such a person would appear in this small fourth-level base city. Li Hanfang looked at the map scroll in his hand with a slightly excited expression. I'm more sure this time, Sharingan, here I come. However, just when Li Hanfang was about to go to the Misty Forest, he was in a mansion on the outskirts of the base city. Snapped. A middle-aged man wearing a black formal suit, thick eyebrows and a majestic face slapped Zhou Xian on the face with an angry look on his face. You're a traitor, you know how to cause trouble for me all day long. You know that Li Hanfang is not simple, but you still go out to provoke others. Do you want to turn things upside down? Zhou Xian was stunned by the slap. A red palm mark was clearly visible on his face. It took him a long time to react, with a look of disbelief on his face. Dad, you actually beat me. I was beaten and bullied. If you don't stand up for me, you still beat me. The middle-aged man is naturally Zhou Xian's father, Zhou Zonghai. He is a deacon in the Kewu building in SH Base City. He has a lot of power and is indeed the number one figure in SH Base City. HMPH, you are my son, and I still don't know your nature. If you don't provoke others, can they beat you for no reason? Zhou Zonghai snorted coldly, as if he had already seen through Zhou Xian's little trick. But, Dad, he beat me seriously, don't you care? I'm your son, I don't care, he has become my inner demon now, you must help me kill him. Zhou Zonghai frowned when he heard this, and his anger surged. Bastard, do you think he is so restless? He is far from an S-level talent, and your vice principal may have been paying attention to him for a long time, right? Do you really think that old guy Li Xingwu is easy to fool? After hearing this, Zhou Xian remained unyielding and said, Dad, what are you afraid of? I have already checked. He is going to the Extraordinary Guild to take the Hunter Certification Test. He should be leaving the city. As long as his hands and feet are clean outside the city, who knows we will do it, of. Uh. Zhou Zonghai was a little silent when he heard this, but still frowned, closed his eyes slightly, and said no more. When Zhou Xian saw this, there was something going on secretly. Father, okay, go back to your room now. If you dare to go out without my permission, I will break your legs. Dad, I, Zhou Xian wanted to say something else, but when Zhou Zonghai's eyes swept over him, he didn't dare to say any more and went back to his room obediently. After Zhou Xian left, only Zhou Zonghai was in the hall. He was lying on the main seat with his eyes slightly closed, as if thinking about something. The whole hall was silent and dead. After a long time, he opened his eyes, a cold light flashed in his eyes and said. Go check Li Hanfang's whereabouts. If he really wants to leave the city, remember to keep your hands and feet clean. When he said this, Zhou Zonghai's face was calm, and his eyes were as deep as pool water. Yes. In the silent hall, a response suddenly sounded, like a ghost. At this time, Li Hanfang had already arrived at the city gate. He looked up at the city wall that surrounded the base city, with some shock in his eyes. The city wall is tens of meters high and is covered with white stones. It looks extremely stable. There are energy cannons on the top of the city wall aimed at the outside of the city, making the city wall look particularly majestic. There are also a row of stone guard towers inside and outside the city wall. There is also a soldier in bright armor on each guard tower, standing high and obviously responsible for standing guard. On the top of the city wall, there were also some guards patrolling. They were wearing heavy armor and holding sharp spears, and they looked very powerful. They looked focused and alert, obviously always ready for a sudden battle. The power and majesty of the entire high wall make people feel a sense of security and stability here. Are these the city guards? They are indeed soldiers who stand on the front line at all times, and their aura is like a blade. Li Hanfeng looked at the soldiers on the city wall who were full of murderous aura and sighed sincerely. Call. Li Hanfeng took a deep breath and felt the state of his body. Although he is not yet able to fully master full concentration, normal breathing after a few days of adaptation, he is now basically used to maintaining full concentration breathing except when sleeping and when he is extremely focused on other things. Without anyone to supervise the training, 
this is already the current limit, and the rest can only be worn out by time. Li Hanfang felt it silently, and then walked towards the city gate after a while. Stop, please show me proof of leaving the city. As soon as Li Hanfang arrived at the city gate, he was stopped by a soldier from the city guard. He took out his hunter's certificate and handed it to the soldier, and said at the same time. I'm a hunter, I go out to hunt monsters. The soldier glanced at the handed badge, and then at Li Hanfang's immature face. His eyes were a little surprised, and he did not reach out to take it. He just waved his hand and motioned for Li Hanfang to put it away. Three Star Bronze, you are very talented. You are about to take the college entrance examination. It is very dangerous outside the city. Having said this, the soldier did not continue to speak. His words were very simple, but his meaning was clear. He looked deeply at Li Hanfang, his sharp eyes softening slightly. Li Hanfang gave a standard military salute to the soldiers and said nothing, but his originally lazy eyes became extremely firm. The soldier just looked at Li Hanfang and was silent for a long time. He slowly raised the spear that was blocking Li Hanfang. He also performed a military salute in response, and then said in a very serious tone. Return safely. Li Hanfang grinned. Can't die. As soon as he walked out of the city gate, Li Hanfang was surprised again. Not far from the city gate, there were many people forming a team. It seemed that there were more people than at the entrance of the extraordinary guild. They also saw Li Hanfang, with a flash of surprise on their faces, but no one invited him. Although he was young and talented, it also meant he had no experience. Inexperience often meant he was holding back. Li Hanfang was also happy to be free and walked alone into the misty forest. Hey, who is this kid? He dares to run into the misty forest alone. Who knows, but judging from his age, he should still be in school, right? Is he a genius? What a genius. No matter how talented you are, you have only awakened for a few days. No matter how talented you are, your strength is limited. Forget it, why do you care so much? But yesterday there seemed to be a very beautiful girl who passed by alone. She seemed to be a student. Are all the students in this year so courageous? With the invasion of aliens, spiritual energy revived, trees, flowers and plants mutated, and the beasts that used to live on Blue Star also turned into the monsters they are today. They are led by some powerful beast kings and gather together to separate themselves. From time to time, they will attack the human base city. This misty forest is one of their gathering points, located more than 10 kilometers away from the SH base city. The alien races are all in stable space-time rifts, and most of the battlefields with humans are in alien spaces. Every large space-time rift is guarded by strong human beings to prevent large-scale alien invasions. However, Alien races will still open some small space-time cracks from time to time to invade human base cities and cause casualties. Soon Li Hanfang came to the misty forest, put away the book, raised his eyes and stared at the past. This forest is mysterious and dangerous. The trees are like towers, towering into the sky. The tree trunks are entangled with vines, and the flowers and plants entwined on the vines sway in the wind. The forest is shrouded in mist all year round, making the light a little dark, hence the name, Mist Forest. Standing in front of him, Li Hanfang felt the fragrance of the wind in the forest. The smell of grass and the aroma of flowers and plants filled the air, which made people feel relaxed and happy, but it could not cover up the dangerous smell emanating from the forest. Li Hanfang took a breath, and with a thought, the Tang Dao appeared in his hand. He hung it on his waist and then raised his feet and walked slowly into the forest shrouded in mist. After Li Hanfang's figure gradually disappeared into the forest, a figure appeared strangely in the shadow of a tall tree. The figure's facial features cannot be seen clearly, the figure is thin, and the whole body is pitch black, as if it blends into the shadow of the trees. Target confirmed. The figure murmured suicidally, the voice was low and hoarse, like a life-threatening ghost. Comma dot. Li Hanfang, who had already entered the outskirts of the forest, had put away the comics and did not dare to be careless. There are dangers everywhere here. In order to avoid something suddenly coming out and attacking you, it's better to concentrate. After Li Hanfang walked for a while, he found no trace of the monster. He thought for a while, took out the map Zhang Ziyuan gave him, carefully checked his position, and then quickly selected a target. The Lair of the Gale Demonic Wolf According to the map, 
There are two Gale Demon Wolves in this lair, one male and one female. One of them is a second level one. It is not far from his current position and can be reached in about half an hour. That's it. One is at the first level and the other is at the second level. It shouldn't be a big problem, but we need to fight quickly and don't get into a fight, otherwise it may attract other things. Li Hanfeng thought for a moment and immediately walked according to the direction marked on the map. Li Hanfeng seemed a little cautious along the way. He even hid in the bushes for a few minutes and continued on his way after finding nothing unusual. It wasn't that he was timid, but he was always a little uneasy along the way. He felt strange but couldn't put it in words. After some investigation and found nothing different, he had to give up. In this way, it was not until more than 40 minutes later that Li Hanfeng saw a cave. According to the direction marked on the map, this cave was the lair of the Gale Demon Wolf. Li Hanfeng slowed down his pace and breathing, used the bushes and tall trees to cover his body, and cautiously touched it. Soon he touched the entrance of the cave, activated the breath of thunder to strengthen his body functions, closed his eyes and put his ears against the stone wall, listening to the movement in the cave to confirm whether the demon wolf was in its lair or out hunting. Soon, Li Hanfang opened his eyes, showing a thoughtful look. There were more than two breathing sounds in the cave. Li Hanfang made a careful identification and confirmed that there were three breathing sounds in the cave, two of which were very weak. Suddenly Li Hanfang's eyes lit up, she had given birth. In other words, there is only one demon wolf inside now, which is most likely a first-level female wolf and two cubs. After thinking about this clearly, Li Hanfang quickly got up and ran into the cave. Quick victory! Li Hanfang's footsteps quickly woke up the gale demon wolf, and it quickly opened its eyes and stood up. When it saw a human rushing into its cave, it instinctively protected the two cubs, and then looked up to the sky and roared. Ouch! Then he rushed directly in front of Li Hanfang, raised his claws and swung at Li Hanfang's head. Li Hanfang reacted very quickly, the golden arc of electricity bounced on his body, and he drew the sword with his right hand and slashed. With a pop, the palm that the gale demon wolf originally swung at Li Hanfang's head fell to the ground, and it let out a painful wail as blood spattered everywhere. Ouch! At this time, a wolf howl filled with grief and anger came from outside the cave. Li Hanfang knew that it was the second level wind demon wolf that was looking for food nearby and had returned. A cold light flashed in his eyes, and the golden arc on his body surged. In a flash, his figure was in front of the restrained female wolf. The Tang Dao in his hand slashed straight at the demon wolf's neck as his spiritual energy surged. Phew, the she-wolf's head rolled to the ground, and the bright red blood stained the ground like a red carpet. Bang! The moment the she-wolf's body fell to the ground, Li Hanfang had already sheathed the knife, facing the entrance of the cave, with his center of gravity depressed, leaning forward, white mist rising from the corners of his mouth along with hissing, holding the handle of the knife with his right hand, and closing his eyes slightly. Ouch! The second-level demon wolf that had rushed back saw the female wolf lying in a pool of blood and let out a mournful howl. It's now! Li Hanfang's eyes suddenly opened, and thunder flashed in his eyes, turning his pupils into gold. Boom! Clang! Accompanied by the sound of the ground breaking and the sound of knives, Li Hanfang's figure turned into a golden thunder and suddenly disappeared from the place. Breath of thunder shape of one thunderbolt flash. The demon wolf that had just appeared at the entrance of the cave let out a mournful cry and was about to attack Li Hanfang, but it felt a threat of death. Before he could react, a golden light suddenly flashed in front of his eyes, and he lost consciousness. Boom! Gulu! As the demon wolf's head rolled to the ground, Li Hanfang's figure appeared outside the cave entrance, and the golden arc on his body was slowly fading away. He got up and walked into the cave, preparing to pack up the loot. After all, the demon wolf had a lot of valuable things on him. At this moment, a bone-chilling chill enveloped him, and the threat of death rose from the bottom of his heart. Without even thinking about it, Li Hanfang's spiritual energy surged crazily in an instant, and the arc that had just disappeared from his body shot out in an even more violent manner, and his figure disappeared instantly. However it was still a step too late. Bah! The sound of a sharp blade cutting through clothes was heard, and a wisp of blood fell in the air. Li Hanfang, who had appeared in an open space more than 10 meters away, looked extremely ugly. Fortunately, he had been restless on the way here, so he had kept an eye on it, otherwise he would have been in trouble just now. 
At this moment, there was a nearly 10 centimeter gash on his right shoulder. Blood was gurgling and flowing down his right shoulder, across his arm, soaking the palm of his hand that was holding the knife, and he felt a stinging sensation. But he didn't stop the bleeding immediately. He held the handle of the knife tightly with his right hand and stared at a figure in the shadow of the cave not far away. The figure's appearance cannot be clearly seen, and one can only roughly see that the figure is somewhat thin, and the whole body is pitch black, and cannot be seen without looking carefully in the shadows. Li Hanfang did not dare to make any move, and did not care to deal with the wound on his right shoulder. He just felt the breath of death spreading towards him for the first time. The feeling was suffocating. If he could, he didn't want to experience it a second time. Who are you? Although he was asking questions, Li Hanfang didn't expect him to say anything. He just wanted to distract the other party's attention a little while his brain was running rapidly. Judging from the spiritual energy fluctuations that erupted the moment he took action, he is at least a fourth level transcendent. And his attack was silent and he was still hiding in the shadows. He was either a dark type or a special type. Although my injury was not its serious, but it hurts my right shoulder, which will affect my ability to swing the knife. Although there is a chance of winning in a head-on confrontation, it's not high. And given the opponent's ability, it's obvious that he won't be able to confront me, and escaping won't work. The opponent's ability is so weird, and he's probably good at speed, so I can only take advantage of the situation now. The condition is not bad, let's take the initiative to attack and give it a try. Thinking of this, Li Hanfang took a deep breath and began to lean forward, holding the handle of the knife tightly with his sticky right hand. However, the other party seemed to see through Li Hanfang's thoughts and ignored him. He turned around and disappeared into the shadows. Damn it! Seeing this scene, Li Hanfang cursed in a low voice. He didn't know that the other party was trying to consume his state. The other party was sure that he didn't dare to bandage the wound. And with the current bleeding speed, it wouldn't take long for him to die from excessive blood loss. My body is so weak that I won't even have the ability to fight when the time comes, and I can only wait to die. The scene seemed to be in a deadlock. The other party was waiting for Li Hanfang's condition to decline and hid in the darkness. Li Hanfang was injured but couldn't bandage it. He couldn't find anyone if he tried to fight. If he tried to escape, he would definitely be hung up by the opponent, which would only accelerate the loss of blood and physical strength what to do. Li Hanfang's brain was running wildly, thinking about any possibility. After a moment, he bit his gums, let go of the hand holding the knife, and his figure turned into a flash of lightning and disappeared instantly. In the dark forest, a golden electric light kept flashing out of the forest, and there always seemed to be a black figure flashing in the darkness near this electric light, like a tarsal maggot, following it like a shadow. Tear, while fleeing, Li Hanfang tore off the sleeves of his assault jacket and bit it in his mouth. Then the golden thunder on his body suddenly surged, and his figure accelerated again and disappeared from the place. At the moment of acceleration, Li Hanfang's left hand quickly pulled the sleeve in his mouth, and then began to tie it up on the wound on his right shoulder. The action was a bit rough, but there was nothing he could do, and there was not much time. This is the real speed of life and death. If you are 0.1 second slower, you may die. Sure enough, the moment Li Hanfang had just tied up the wound, a figure silently emerged from the shadows in front of him, and the dagger emitting a cold light in his hand had already been slashed towards Li Hanfang's throat. However, Li Hanfang seemed to have expected it. The figure that was originally moving forward at high speed turned around and changed direction at a very fast speed when the lightning suddenly appeared. The figure turned into lightning and flashed towards the right. The figure was slightly startled, as if he didn't expect that Li Hanfang could make such a rapid change of direction at such a speed. Little did they know that this was just a basic operation for Li Hanfang, who had already mastered one form sixth company. At the moment of changing direction, Li Hanfang had already torn open the sleeve on the other side, then quickly wiped the blood stains on his right palm and the handle of the knife, and then directly pulled out the tang knife holding the knife in his right hand and matching his mouth with his left hand, using his sleeve to wipe the right hand and the handle of the knife are tightly bound. At this time, a cold light appeared on the back of Li Hanfang's neck again, just as silent and with the same chill. Ding! The moment the dagger was about to touch the back of Li Hanfang's neck, 
he squatted down, then turned around and slashed with the knife, and the sound of gold and iron clashing sounded in the dark forest. Then with the help of the impact from the weapon collision, he quickly pulled back. In the flash of thunder and lightning, Li Hanfang appeared in the open space ten meters away. At this time, Li Hanfang did not run anymore, but had sheathed his sword and leaned forward. The white mist at the corner of his mouth became thicker with the hissing sound, and the electric arc lingered around his body. During the roar of thunder and lightning, Li Hanfang slowly closed his eyes. It's a great chase, isn't it? Do you want to try again? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.